Alright, by now we can probably all agree on how great Clip is. The language to image encoder AI of course. It frightened illustrators with dull ease capability of generating virtually any image. Started the mass production of AI generated arts as NFTs with VQ Gam plus Clip. And most of all, is capable of separating muffins and chihuahuas. By using Clip to measure the loss of an image compared to the description, AI generative arts come into existence with a combination of other AI such as VQGAN to regenerate an image that would fit the description more. So the video visualizer of the AI generated art is basically a generating process of the AI looking to fit the generated image to the text description over thousands of iterations. But what if instead of generating images, we reorganize and manipulate existing strokes to fit the text description instead? This brings up another interesting AI research paper called Clip Draw. What the paper demonstrates is that by reorganizing a set amount of vector strokes, it uses Clip to measure and tries to score as high as possible against the text description. You can see all these percentages are similar to the confidence level in image classification, and when you put the iterations process into a video, it's as if it's floating into different locations. These percentages are the key to generate the visual results. So theoretically, if Clip improves its classification ability, then the generated results will look more realistic too. You can also make a video from strokes similar to how neural style painting does it. You can see how each stroke occupies and structures the final result which is really cool. There are quite a few parameters you can change too like the total amount of strokes there is to generate the result. For example, how many strokes can hugely change the outcome? From a simple doodle to a more complex and saturated drawing. The doodles sometimes are pretty accurate but sometimes it can really be a mess like the ones where I put baby dragons as the text prompt. It only generates up to the whole and the wings. The eyes and the scales are nowhere to be found. You can also specify different styles of doodling like having water paint which worked really well in this farmland text description. Also, abstract prompts grant insight to how Clip relates visual concepts which in some cases can have really interesting results. Clip Troll also has this function where it not only tries to fit the text descriptions but can also intentionally not fit some other text descriptions too. Negative prompts can be taken into consideration when generating the results besides the input prompt, like how you can specify the drawing not to be ugly or not have a specific trait. In VQGAN, you can adjust the values of a specific keyword, but Clip Troll lets you see the classification percentages and you can adjust your negative prompts based on that. I'll link the collab to play around with Clip Troll down in the description. These kinds of AI generated art is really dependent on how good Clip is and how well Clip performs. There are some pretty clear instructions already, so stick to it and you'll probably be fine running it. But yeah, getting good results is still pretty much up to luck. If you want to learn more about Clip Troll or Clip in general, check out their research papers. And if you want to learn more about AI applications or using machine learning practically, today's sponsor Skillshare actually has it for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can freely explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and have fun with your creativity. And what I was referring to from the start is this data science and machine learning with Python hands-on by Frank Kane, which is a really good AI slash ML application course. Not only can we learn machine learning practically with Python, it's also a great starting point alongside what I usually do on my channel. The lessons aren't that long either, so you can easily go through them during your free time. They are also providing a limited time offer of one month free premium trial instead of the usual two weeks. So even if you are done with that class, you can also check out their other amazing ad free and high quality creative classes like photography, illustrations, and video editing. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. As usual, thank you all for watching. A big shout out to Andrew and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.